Yes, I am covered in organic sunless tanner. It's not my job to be pretty on TikTok. Sorry. So it's been interesting to have um, discussions this week around divorce after being a stay-at-home mom and the financial devastation that that can cause. And what I don't understand is this disconnect between human beings recognize that like if your boss doesn't give you your check one month or if there's a recession or prices and everything go up and you have a gap in what your expenses are and what you make, that is a recognized financial catastrophe. But after divorce, these women whining because they don't get alimony, well, there's this you lose all of your money. When I divorced my husband, my lying, cheating, abusive, horrible husband after 24 years of being a stay-at-home mom, I had zero. I had literally not a penny in the bank. Our monthly income was about $4,600 a month. I had four children that I was supporting. I had a son who was in pre-medical school, a daughter who was living out of state, finishing up high school that I had to pay for her rent and groceries. My son had to drop out of school. My daughter was literally starving to death. And then I had two children at home. So I got a job, starting working my way up, trying to get an education, trying to build a career. And that job was $11 an hour for four and a half hours a day, which didn't even come close to paying my bills. I was making what I had made as a 16 year old girl in high school, supporting five human beings. And just the absolute mental exhaustion of it. I mean, waking up at five o'clock in the morning to get everything done at the house and drive all of my kids to school as a single mom and then go work my job and then deal with divorce attorneys and all this different stuff. It was so overwhelming to me that I eventually tried to take my life. And then there are factors like being a 50 year old woman going in and applying for jobs against people who are far more qualified and younger and have more energy and freedom of time than I have. And the lack of support. Um, if you are single parenting and you're the one who has full custody of the kids, my very first day in my school teaching job, I had been there for like an hour, half an hour, I don't even know, teaching some first graders literature when I got a call from Brody's school. He was eight, he was in like fourth or fifth grade, and he had just thrown up on school, at school on my first day at work. So I had to leave, go pick him up, take him to a friend's house who was willing to watch a barfing eight-year-old and go back to my job for an hour. Nobody can handle a huge loss of income. And I don't know one goddamn former stay-at-home mom who's in my situation, who's not willing to work their asses off. It's not even what this is about. So shout out to all the moms out there who've gone through this, like I have, and to all of the stay-at-home moms currently, protect your finances. $250 a month in an account that's untouchable, that's 3,000 a year, 15,000 every five years, protect yourself. You will need it.